Hello. You here? <laughs> How y'all doing? I'm doing this live and I wrote a list of things that can help make, I wrote it down on this. Look, it's real bootleg. Like tutorial, a little like lesson, a little class, but I wrote my notes on the instructions of how to put a toilet seat cover on, okay? That's real official, that's how official I am. A couple of tips that can help make cleaner, buying cleaner beauty easier. I know that a lot of people may want to do it or they have the great, right intentions and want to switch to cleaner beauty products. And I know in certain stores it is just non-existent. There's more that are coming in now. Cleaner beauty products on the market now than ever before. You can find it's like a whole, whole section in Target, everything. And so I wanted to do a quick live sharing some tips that you can use to make buying cleaner beauty products easier. Seems like everything is more expensive and some things are and there's reasons for it. The system has made it easy, uh, more complicated than it needs to be. Go and tell you what I do, what I look for when I am buying stuff. You wanna look for stuff that has fewer ingredients, okay? Ingredients that something has, and especially the fewer complicated to say ingredients that something has, Usually, the more natural the product is gonna be, but that's not always the case. Remember, um, and I'm saying this as a former product junkie, we don't need a million different products, really, at this point, to do a bunch of things. Like, I use sometimes the same oil that I use on my hair, for my skin, for my feet, for everywhere. So I don't need to buy like a bunch of different products, okay? I know in my case it's particularly different because they do, people send me stuff for me to try out. Realize that you really don't need that many and you do want to look for ones that have fewer ingredients. So that's the first thing, is a whole lesson. You want to look for companies that are not resistant at sharing the ingredients on the product, okay? Anything that you may buy from nowadays, if the company is hesitant or don't doesn't freely have the ingredients on the label or on the website, then I, that makes me give them a side eye. Everybody's trying to do better now, healthier, make healthier choices. The company that you should be buying from should not be hesitant to give you the ingredients that they have in their products. So I have a couple of like this here. This is a uh, concealer. They have like a whole list. They should have the list of the products right on there. They should have different like deodorants. They'll have the product, the ingredients list right on there making it super easy for you to know what it is and to Google if you need to Google it. Even like different ones like Waleda, the ones they make them in bold, bold lettering here because apparently people like me need to use our glasses. Our ones that have ingredients right on the label. Makes it easy, you can Google it. Pay attention to the label, the ingredients in the way that it's labeled. Because the first ingredient on the label that they have of the for the product, the ones that are at the, the first ones they list are the ones that's more predominant in the product. That's the ones you really, that they use more of. You want to pick, uh, make sure that the first couple of ingredients that you are having on your product, that you're okay with those, because that's gonna be the ones that's gonna be the most in the product. And the ones that may have it later on, they don't put as much in there. So it might not be, it's less of a, of a hazard, okay? It's not saying that you shouldn't be concerned about it, but it's less of a hazard. And make sure that you look for ones that don't just say fragrance or parfum on it. Some say parfum. As the actual like source of the scent, then that is better. Cause then you can Google it and see what, you know, if you're allergic to it. Because believe it or not, the term fragrance is just a just an umbrella term. They can put whatever the hell they want in it and it could be up to 200 different chemicals in it. And so the more that you use things that just say fragrance or parfum or, you know, proprietary blend for fragrance, you don't know what's in it. You know, it's hard sometimes things will say like natural flavor for a food or when it says fragrance, those are both umbrella terms. Check for those, if you want something that does have a fragrance, um, it may have a combination of different essential oils. At least you know what, the, what it is, as opposed to something that just, you don't know what they put in there, because that pisses me off. Cruelty-free and vegan 
when you see it on the label, people mistakenly think that that means that something is healthier for your body, okay? People got mad when I, sometimes I'll say like, if something says cruelty free, I'm like, mm. always pick everything that just because it says that it's vegan or just because it says that, and again, I'm not vegan, but something that, a uh, beauty product that may be ve vegan or a beauty product that may be um, cruelty free, that doesn't mean that it's not um, hazardous to your health, us humans' health, okay? Have different toxins and endocrine disruptors, which is really the bigger thing that you wanna be uh, concerned with because those can sink into your skin and they can mess up with your hormones. Um, and as somebody who has dealt with hormonal issues before, I'm very, very aware of it. Shit, I, I just, <laughs> coming off of 2020, uh, having all sorts of hormonal issues, even that, with uh, your cycle being out of, out of whack and everything, you want to be conscious of all the stuff that you're putting on your your skin because right now I'm hearing all sorts of people. I, I wasn't the only one that had cycle problems. Everybody has cycle problems. And I don't always just pick things that are cruelty free and or vegan. I actually look at the labels to make sure that I'm okay with the ingredients that's in something. Make it easier for yourself and use these two different sources that I use when I want to go and see if a new product that I'm thinking of is okay with my, you know, my ideals of what I want to purchase. It's the EWG website, Environmental Working Group. They have a whole database. And in that database, they have broken down a bunch of different ingredients that are in products that we most commonly use. And really what happens is that Companies send them their beauty products that may be going to shelves or going to be used by consumers and then when they do testing on it and make sure that if it's okay. One of the things that can be hazardous to our health and the lower the number, the better the product is for you, the higher the number and they use like colors like green it's which is good for the lower numbers and uh red and yellow for the ones that are not the greatest for you if it has a higher number like eight nine run run from run from the product looking for when you're in the store you you know everything has like a not this apparently but things will have like a um here tom's so we have the tom thing we'll have a the box of the thing and you can scan it and go and it'll tell you if it's great or if it's not I mean, even this, I bought this for, this for my toddler. I'm okay with her. She doesn't, she swallows it. <laughs> she doesn't spit it out. But you know, you have to think about every single thing that you're putting in your skin. The problem that I have is that so often in the past, a lot of um, beauty products that are in the, marketed for African-American and um, BIPOC, a lot of them are really, really full of crap. You know, and thankfully there are people who are in the space like myself and other brands that are trying to do better to have cleaner products for us. I even have like, and, and, and it's not even only, and I'm giving it to y'all now too, as far as everybody's trying to do better. Brands are expanding their colors and their um, different tones that they might have had before. You know, this here I have on um, right now, I have Erin's Faces. Erin, I love her. Um, she has expanded her line. This is Sequoia. This is mine for the concealer, but I might actually need a darker one because I did get a tan. But just cleaner ingredients, okay? And there are other African-American and Black women that are in this space trying to do better because we should have clean products too. But when you go on Target, now I'm like mad. When I go down the aisles that I used to shop all the time and all of them i'm like i can't use any of this i'm upset because because i'm torn because i love the products that that they had i did used to love them but i love that there's products for our hair and our skin but you know we have a higher prevalence of like fibroids and other things and so i think that i'm trying to help share um, in the wellness space and get other people aware of the things that they're putting on their skin and everything. All of it, it accumulates. We can use up to 20 something products a day, depending on the person, you know? And so I'm trying to lessen the amount of toxic things that my family puts on their skin. And you know, I maybe sound crazy and yes, our bills go up for it. And I can not always do it, but you do as best as you can all the time because I'm dealing with four people in the house, you know? So you might, I will share things that are not 
like the tippy tippy top as far as being super super clean because I also have a budget. <laughs> I also have a budget. I'm gonna share things that we use. So like I mentioned in a different thing, I, I bought these like for my son because uh, this Sukin line that's in Target, you know, as I mentioned before, purists may not love it because it has a couple, you know, it's not the super, super cleanest of line, but it's pretty damn clean, especially for Target. And it's not a million dollars. And I don't feel upset if he is going to go pump happy with this because he's already gone through this, right? This here is from Waleda. And I love this for him, but it's $14 and he's 11 years old and he goes pump happy with this. Facial cleanser from this Sukin line at Target and this is like $8 or something like that. So yes, Waleda one is a little bit cleaner, but it's, it's good enough. It's good enough for me, especially if I'll sit down and I check out all the the things, the labels. And that's what I'm trying to share, to be realistic about it. That, you know, you can just do what you can do, especially for your family, you know? But I can't control everything that goes on in the house. We in the wellness space, but me specifically, I'm trying to make it easier for folks to try and navigate the space. I wanna share a couple of my favorite things at the moment already ranted and raved about the tower 28 line before of the tower 28 line okay i can let me put it on a little bit these uh beach please happy hours things they have like um they have different ones they have a bronze one and a t different tones in bronze ones and um we one their glosses yes i love i love a lot of things in the line but I've been using this lately and I like I have to keep in mind though like this is $20 I'm okay with that right that's like my my budget and but my daughter wants to put it on her face too because she's mimicking everything I'm doing and so even well for my son he doesn't want to put this on I mean that's just him okay but I, she's three and she has to put clean stuff on her skin too because I'm very protective of both of their hormones as much as I can. I don't feel okay, I don't feel upset if she keeps, if she puts this on. I'm not concerned about it because she wants to like, mommy, you're putting your stuff. I put too much on, that's too much on this one. You're putting this on, I wanna put it on too. And, and see, and you can use it on here, you could use it up on your lips. Mm. I love Tower 28 stuff. That's my favorite, favorite. No, that's not true. That's not true. That's one of my favorite ones right now. I love this um, lipstick. This one, this color in particular from Hint, Hint Beauty. I know that they put this like this in the cap with some lip balm and that thing. Woo! I didn't know that. I didn't know that until one day she dropped it. <laughs> and then I saw it pop open and I was like, oh, that's super cute. Yeah, I love this color here. I had it on earlier. I was putting it on. I think it's like, you know, just a nice, I show up at the bus stop. I even know nobody's going to bus stop. We still virtual, virtually home. That was glue. <laughs> no, it's cute. I, I showed this already. Erin's faces, love Erin's face and stuff. I love Erin, she's really, really cool. I have a podcast episode that I'm sitting on because I need to edit that we, I spoke with her. These two different colors of her concealer and I think that I might actually need a darker tone at this point because I have been in the sun. But this is the her concealers and I, I put a little bit on but I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. I love Erin's face and stuff. I love her lip smoothie that she had. Now the different colors, I have it in the jewel, I posted about that already, but that's, it's so like, it's so nice. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And I hear Chelsea, you, you had something to do with some of this, this, the lines in uh, Aaron's faces and I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But look at that. Look at that. Right? That clean beauty is not, um, you know, it's not worth it. But girl, your hormones are worth it. But also, you, I will find like little fingers dig, dull, dug up in my stuff. But you have to think about that, especially, you know, as a parent or one around kids, like they're mimicking everything that you're doing. And so try to set an, a, a better example for them, especially us, the, the ladies, the women and the little girls, because, you know, we, they end up getting earlier periods and all sorts of stuff. and everything it's scary it's scary just went through um i didn't even show this on anything else 
I just went through having like my cycle was messed up for a while and I was like, oh God, I'm getting per I'm per perimenopausal. <laughs> I went to the doctor, I had my thyroid checked. Please let me know, cause I went to the uh, getting new glasses and they said that the optometrist, yeah, said that this eye was protruding more than this eye. And when she went to go check and I was like, okay, I know I have like larger eyes. I've always had larger eyes, but I also know a lot of people that have hypothyroid, um, hypothyroidism, everything, Hashimoto's, all sorts of things. And so I was aware of this stuff and I was like, okay, let me go check. And they checked my thyroid and everything was fine. But I was like, my cycle has been off, but now we're back on. <laughs> started um working out more while well, well, walking if you i've been with uh I partner with this company treadly i'm helping in their app um if you have a treadly treadmill i'm gonna be sharing more about that um i'm actually going live i'm probably gonna go live after this um every weekday i walk in their app and i'm doing it live and you can come and walk with me thank you i'm excited about that partnership anyway i started walking more i started taking the maca that i used to take from before when I had some um, hormonal issues because I had I have been taking other types of maca but I went uh, back to one from the maca team and I'll put that in the thing when I repost it too it's still good it's like a smaller company I know that there's like moon juice and out there and uh, moon juice and other ones that are out there that I've had but I started using that one I started to care more for my liver and try to monitor my sleep make sure that my b vitamins were back because listen it was gone <laughs> oh shit i'm going to the menopause i'm perimenopausal but i'm about to be 40 so it's not uncommon but i was asking my mother like when did you start menopause and she was like 40 something but i'm not there yet <laughs> Hopefully I'm okay. I'm gonna go and do my walk basically. I feel like I need to start doing lives more and that's what I was gonna do. So I will resave this. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you guys another time, okay? Bye. <laughs>